Greetings. So, one of the things that the diagnostic software picked out was that BSI was not seeing a recognised transponder in the key, which would definitely prevent it from starting. This is the, uh, the one and only key that I got with the car. The fob is brand new. Possibilities that this key isn't really working deactivate the immobiliser on the car. So, I've actually already had this open. I wouldn't say it was to my great surprise, but take away the new board. The previous owner must have already have associated the remote lock unlock with the car because that bit is working. Anyway, that's not the important bit. The important bit, this little area, <laughs> little cutout in the plastic moulding, should have a transponder in it. The immobiliser isn't being deactivated by the kit. For the princely sum of about £6, I think, from eBay, I have bought, there it is, a new clean and uh, virgin transponder chip. Just slots in here like this. Yeah, that's in. Um, put it back together. So we now should have, but at least one with a transponder in it. Program via Peugeot Planet 2000, um, the immobiliser or the BSI to accept this new transponder. The security code of the immobiliser, of course I don't have that, from a Peugeot dealer which is actually fine and is like 15 quid. If you have the registration document, it didn't have one and I've just sent away to apply for one online, not particularly dodgy, but people who are subscribed to certain services, Peugeot services or other. And I found somebody who says they can and for £25 they will provide me with a security pin from the VIN number. So hopefully very shortly we should have the security number so I can program this key to de-arm or disarm the immobiliser on the car and then maybe with all the other faults maybe not but anyway hopefully we'll be one step closer to getting the £100 car running. <laughs>